So you so almost you, were in the secret. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's interesting because all of us talked about it. And then I met Rhonda afterwards and she was like, oh, I would have loved to have somebody that spoke Spanish because we're very big in Latin America. <laughs> and I'm like, that's okay. You know, everything happens for a reason. And, uh, you know, I've had some amazing opportunities in my life, but just to be surrounded by those kind of people all throughout my my last 22 years that I've been on this journey uh, of self-discovery and understanding what really um, allows us to become our full potential. And what is it that keeps us from doing that every single day? Because, you know, I boil it down to one simple thing, self-worth. Our self-worth, in my opinion, is the foundation of whether we can believe something is possible or not. Because if we have a low self-worth, then we cannot get to the point that we believe that we're worthy of abundance, that we're worthy of great relationship, that we're worthy of amazing people as friends, that we're worthy of a successful business, that we're worthy of people putting us on the cover of Time magazine because you just influenced the world in a way like nobody else had. And, uh, you know, that we're worthy of being on Forbes magazine as the top 100 billionaires in the world. That is all based on self-esteem. And that self-esteem is one of the things that keeps most people from truly achieving all they're meant to be. But that self-esteem, the reason why it's keeping us from doing so is because we're basing our self-esteem on the impression of others instead of actually finding that self-love in ourselves. So that way we can really look at ourselves from a whole different perspective. I call it a different lens. You know, when you can look in the mirror and instead of seeing that human being with imperfection, you begin to see that spiritual being that is completely perfect, completely aligned with the universe and where it's completely receptive to all the amazing things the universe wants to give us. Wow. Because we're the ones that actually are saying no to the universe. You know, opportunities are all around us. You know, we get ideas, we get creative. How many times have you found yourself with an idea that all of a sudden, a year or two years later, you find that somebody put it together and now it's a billionaire because, you know, they came together with it. I mean, there's so many of those kind of things happening. But unfortunately, if you don't feel that you're the person or if you don't feel that you are worthy, then it's never going to happen for you. You know, my, my older brother was very successful in business and he always said to me that, when you get a great idea, just assume that at the same time, hundreds of people are getting the same idea. Now, the question is, who rushes to manifest that idea first? And in his business, he always remembered that the reason that he was always ahead of the game in business is because he was always listening to those ideas. And then I realized later on in life that you will never get an idea that you were never meant to be the one to make that reality. Any ideas, any concepts, any beliefs that we get out there, any in, uh, insights are all because you're the one that is supposed to make it happen. Not your brother, not your sister, not your parents. The problem is when you share that with other people around you, they completely say, well, you know, Fab, you know, we, we just never had anybody in our family that has ever done that. Or, you know, you will never be able to do this. It just never happened. Or that's just so out there. You're living in the clouds. Well, guess what? Living in the clouds is a pretty good thing, but you gotta also apply the tools to manifest what it is that those clouds say that you're capable of doing.